Hello guys, Nigerians react as premates. Ayodele claims only God can stop Nigerians breakup as everything is being, you know, uh, working in the direct way for the breakup. Not be smart in Nigerians don't talk, oh. people just they talk left, right and center and all that. Well, make we even hear how he say it will happen. And when is going to happen, Nigerians? This will really shock you. Welcome back to Prospect Janet TV. Thank you for this coming out here. If you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe to this channel and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. Premates, Elisha Ayodele, the esteemed leader of the Irish Evangelical Spiritual Church has ascertained that in 2035 Nigeria is bound to undergo a separation. Ebola Tunubu does not prioritize the restructuring of the country. He noted that what will be responsible for Nigerians' division does not lie with the two popular Nigerian activists. Sunday, Iwowu and Namde Kanu. According to Daily Post, he conveyed this message during a press conference held in Lagos on Friday. He predicted the factor that would be responsible for the dissolution of the nation. He declared that we must remain vigilant as Nigerians' uh, fragment fragmentation is inevitable in 2035. Only divine intervention can prove it or prevent it. He emphasized the need for the government to undertake the crucial task of reshaping country, that reshaping the country, Nigeria, to prevent the country from uh, crumbling. He ascertained that neither the Yoruba nation agitator Sunday Imo nor the Biafra activist Nnamdi Kanu would spearhead Nigerian separation. So he claimed that the separation would occur naturally. He said that Nigerians would eventually grow weary of living with one another and demand a referendum to bring forth the inevitable outcome. It has been tested and proven over the years that the, this British uh, company cannot work. Lives has been wasted Destinies have been destroyed. Resources have been wasted. Even the citizens have never had a country to be proud of. These and many other reasons are why reasonable Nigerians will rather advocate for the uh, division of this entity. It is also obvious that there is no love and unity among the people. And where there is no unity... When there is no unity among the people and where there is no unity, there is no justice and where there is no justice, there is no peace and where there is no peace, there will surely not be prosperity. Okay, someone just dropped that. Pray you will be alive today to tell us another story. May you also tell us when the hunger, poverty, banditry, Terrorists, kidnappers, and unknown gunmen ra ra ranking uh, havoc across the length and breadth of Nigeria will be will be broken up by the government. Okay, guys, these are some reactions by Nigerians. The truth remains that if we really know what we are doing, you don't even need any pastor. You don't even need any any prophet, soseya, or native daughter to tell you that Nigeria is heading nowhere. That is the truth. With the condition of this country today, you will understand that this country is heading nowhere. And if time is not taken, one day it will just blow, boom. That is the truth. Now he talks, and that is what he said, God showed him all. So me, I know they feel the contest against what somebody said is God that told him, or whatever. But without you hearing from God right now, Make you carefully look the situation of Nigeria, the way the whole thing they go. You got the stand, say the country, you know, you know that peace. 
everything don't turn upside down. And all this kind of a thing, anything can happen. We are heading nowhere. We are just like a country that is not... Be In fact, I don't even know what to say because we are heading nowhere. That is the truth. The situation we have found ourselves today in this country is nowhere. Nigeria is a lost state. You understand? They go tell you. They go tell you who they come. We want. Everything go day okay. Till now, we are still here. These politicians, they don't finish this country. When you even see what... It's even, it even look like as if they don't have any plan for the country. You understand? So whether you say God tell them or whatever on our prediction, it's just like they won't read them the way the whole thing they go. You got the stand say they we are really heading nowhere. That is the truth. We are heading nowhere. <laughs> they, they talk say who gets here, make them here. The country is turning to something else. The country is turning to something else. The government should do something about all this wahala on ground to avoid the story that touches. Nigerians are really going through a lot. They, they talk, say, an hungry man, I ain't be an angry person. If you day hungry, you know they day happy. You are an angry person because you can react, you can act at any time. That is why they have to be very careful with their dealings. So guys, let's hear from you. What's your take on this? Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Thank you.